friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Today I have a kind of special video for you. It is Vlogmas so I am uploading every day during the month of December leading up to Christmas and this is the first Christmas holiday inspired recipe video of Vlogmas 2020. Not only is this the first recipe video, it's an amazing, amazing recipe. And today's video is part of a Holly Jolly collab hosted by my friend Jess over at Journey to Healthy. I will make sure to list Jess's YouTube channel down in the description box down below. It was an open collaboration to anybody who wanted to join that wanted to share a Christmas or holiday video. It could be anything. Christmas baking, gift wrapping, cleaning for Christmas, decorating for Christmas. It's all just full of Christmas inspo. So down in the description box, I will also link the playlist where you'll find all of the videos for this collab. So definitely go check it out. Check out the other channels. Maybe you'll find some new ones that you never knew were here that you'd love to subscribe to. If you are coming over from another one of the channels that are part of this collab, welcome. I'd love to have you join my channel. Just hit the little subscribe button and that bell next to it and you'll be notified whenever I upload. But I decided to do a recipe, like I said, for this collab. We are making a Starbucks dupe. How exciting is that? It is calorie friendly, WW friendly, and it's a great sweet treat to put you in the holiday spirit. This recipe comes from skinnytaste.com. I will link that website down in the description box as well. It is the Starbucks Cranberry Bliss Bars. Skinnyfied, calorie reduced, full of flavor, no artificial sweetener, which speaks right to my heart. It is using real sugar, real ingredients, and they are amazing. In my opinion, they are better, dare I say, than the Starbucks Cranberry Bliss Bar. So I'm incredibly excited for today's video. If you are as excited as I am, give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me and just lets me know that you enjoy these types of videos, recipe, Christmas, Vlogmas. So make sure you give it a thumbs up. Check out that description box down below for my nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories suited just for you, which is amazing to know where you should fall calorically and macro wise every day. I also offer 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions so you can get some individualized help to reach your healthy goals. So definitely check out my nutrition coaching website. Links, discount codes to all my favorite things are down in the description box, as well as the link to Jess's channel, Journey to Healthy, the link to the playlist for the collab, and of course, Skinny Tastes website. You'll also find my Facebook group. Head on over and join us. I have a ton planned for the new year. We are 17,000 members strong and growing, and it's just a really fun, supportive place to be. So check out that description box after today's video. Let's jump into a Starbucks dupe for the Cranberry Bliss Bar. For this holiday treat that's WW friendly, calorie friendly, and a copycat of the Starbucks Cranberry Bliss Bar, we are making skinny cranberry bliss bars. So let me show you what's in our recipe. You're going to need some powdered sugar, flour, regular sugar, dried cranberries, I'm just using the 50% less sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon and vanilla extract, as well as salt, one third less fat cream cheese, butter, two types of chocolate. You'll need the white chocolate baking bar and also white chocolate chips, unsweetened applesauce, egg whites, and last but not least, some baking soda. So let's start baking. So to get started on our bars, go ahead and pull out a rather large bowl. We are going to add two cups of all-purpose flour and one half of a teaspoon of baking soda a pinch of salt, add in one eighth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and then we are going to stir this together until it's fully combined. Into a smaller bowl, I've added one quarter cup of egg whites. My cup was overflowing, so I went ahead and just popped those into my bowl. We are going to add one quarter cup of melted butter, two thirds cup of unpacked brown sugar, two thirds cup of granulated sugar, one quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce, and last but certainly not least, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then we are going to whisk this together again until fully combined. Yourself. I'm married to Christmas. 
We are then going to add the wet ingredients divided, so half at a time, into the dry ingredients and mix just until combined. Make sure you're not over mixing. Your batter will be more on the crumbly side than the smooth side. Add in the second half of the batter. So your batter again should be more of a crumbly texture. If it is a little bit too dry, you can add in very, very small drops of water to get it to the right consistency. But mine actually looks really good. You can see that everything is mixed really well. We are now going to fold in two thirds of a cup of white chocolate chips and one third of a cup of dried cranberries. To a 9 by 13 pan, go ahead and add a little bit of non-stick cooking spray. We just want to make sure these delicious bars do not stick to the baking dish. We are then going to take our batter, which doesn't that look so good, spread that evenly in the bottom of the baking dish. You can use the back of a spatula or a measuring cup. Just make sure that it is nice and even and flat in the dish. Our bars are going into the oven 350 degrees for 10 to 14 minutes or just until the edges are brown. Be careful not to over bake because they'll come out dry. My house smells like the holidays. Here are our cranberry bliss bars. They need to cool completely. I actually have them here on a wire rack so that they can cool a little bit better and faster. We're going to start putting together the frosting. For the frosting, first thing we are going to do in a smaller bowl is add eight ounces of softened cream cheese. So I just let this sit out the entire time while we prepared the actual bar itself. And then we're going to add two ounces of the melted baker white chocolate. This was that Ghirardelli white chocolate. I went ahead and broke up half the bar because the full bar is four ounces and the recipe wants two ounces and I just melted it here in a microwave safe bowl. And then we are going to add about a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one half of a cup of powdered sugar, and then one third cup of the craisins. Grab out your handheld mixer and mix it up. So do as I say, not as I do. We were actually not supposed to put the cranberries in the frosting. We were actually supposed to sprinkle those on top. But I went ahead and added them in. I'm hoping that this still works. It just may not be as pretty. I may end up adding some additional cranberries. Let's just see how it all plays out, but do not add the cranberries to the frosting mix. <laughs> And there it is. This looks so good. I think we might be okay with our little faux pas with the cranberries. Now for the best part, our bars are nice and cooled. So we have the frosting and we are going to spread that evenly over the bars. This pan actually makes 30 cranberry bliss bars, but remember they're halves, they're triangle shaped. So we're going to frost this up and then we will cut up our bars. Look at these bars. These look so incredible. It is time to cut them. So we actually need to cut them into 15 squares and then we'll cut those squares in half diagonally to make the traditional Starbucks Cranberry Bliss Bar triangle. So let's cut them up. So I have my bars cut into 15. Now again, the traditional Cranberry Bliss Bar is cut in a triangle form. So I'm going to just go through and cut all of my bars. Now I do wanna say that my faux pas on the cranberries is okay. You can see the cranberries on top. I don't think it makes that much difference in the bars, but I'm excited for these. I mean, they're not huge bars. They are really, really good in calories and really truly not too terrible in points for what it is. I mean, it's real sugar, it's real ingredients. So I'm going to get these cut up. We'll put some out on a plate and I'll be back to talk to you about calories, points, and then we will taste test these and see what our thought is versus the Starbucks. So here are the finished bars. You guys, these look so delicious. I mean, look at that 
frosting and those bars. Oh my goodness. So this is the size of them. So they're not large. They're definitely smaller than the ones from Starbucks. I would say maybe half the size, but the points, the calories are so much better. These bars are seven smart points on all three of the WW plans. And that's for one of these bars. Not bad considering this is an indulgent sweet treat. But the good news is for those of you counting calories, it's only 143 calories per bar. The ones from Starbucks are over 500 calories per bar. So highly recommend this recipe. Definitely make this for the holiday. So now we're going to give these a true real-time taste test and see if they're as good as they say. All right, it's time for the taste test. Troy is on board to give these a try right along with me. I know how much you guys like to see him in the video. So we are going to try these bars, give you our first taste, honest opinion. All right, here goes. I think it's really good. What do you think? Best ever. <laughs> I'm just split. Okay, Troy's gonna try his bar one more time and give you his honest opinion. Ready, set, go. What do you think? We're good. Okay, this one. You take a moment to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Happy, happy Vlogmas. Thank you so much for supporting my daily uploads during Vlogmas. And thanks again to Jess over at Journey to Healthy for hosting today's collaboration. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next video.